Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back at an 8-4 Shadows over Innistrad draft. Flameblade Angel is a foil rare we opened. I think we're going to take that. It's a pretty awesome card. It's a, you know, win con on its own, and it's got a really strong ability, so probably just got to take that. Um, yeah, I mean, not really close. There's ongoing investigation, which I would like to play one of these days. There's Watcher in the Web, Just the Wind, some other kind of like mid-grade picks, but we're just going to take the Sweet Angel. Okay, there's, now we've got Gatstaff Arsonist in red, Sleep Paralysis, which has got to be just the best card. Nephalia Moondrakes, which is pretty good, but expensive. I'd rather just have the removal. Thing is, Red Blue typically wants to be the Spells deck. It doesn't have to be. But these two cards are both... I guess they're both fine in that deck, but you really want a lot of instants and sorceries. So you can, you know, abuse the Rise from the Tides or whatever. But, yeah, I'm fine with Sleep Paralysis here. Okay, Kindly Stranger in here, which is really good. We also have Inner Struggle, Deadweight. So I think the strongest card is Kindly Stranger, but I think Inner Struggle is still very good. Instant Speed Removal that deals with, I feel like, most things. And I do like having Instant Speed Removal. There's also Nibblis of Dusk in here, but yeah, I think it's just between Kindly Stranger and Inner Struggle. Like I said, I think Kindly Stranger is better. But Inner Struggle is still probably just good enough. It's uh, like I don't think Kindly Stranger is... You still have to set up for it. I do think it's really good. Do you have to have Delirium? I'm going to take the Inner Struggle. I think Inner Struggle is still pretty awesome. Maybe I like it more than most. I'm not sure. Two deadweights in here? Jeez. So we've got Uninvited Guest, which is only okay. Dance with Devils, which I think is actually pretty good. Vessel of Ephemera. I could just take a deadweight here. It's certainly good. Then I'm going to wish I took the Kindly Stranger. Yeah... That is true. I mean, like I said, I didn't really get super worst pick, but I could just take the Dance with Devils. I think this card's very good. Deadweight's probably better because it's cheaper. We'll take a Deadweight. Huh. Well, now we've got Compelling Deterrence. Another Sleep Paralysis. Well, probably just want that then. Byway Courier is pretty good. Yeah, we'll take the Paralysis, though. Hmm. So now there's some good white picks in here, like Tenacity. Lamplighter is pretty playable, but unexciting. Uncaged Fury is good. Don't have the ideal deck for it yet. Best card is probably Byway Courier. No, I guess the best card is probably Tenacity, but I'm not going to splash for it. I don't know. I guess I could... Take the, there's just no blue or red card I care enough about right now. Like, I could just take Uncaged Fury. Hope that it pans out. It's so much worse, but... It does kind of feel like you want to... I don't know. I'm still trying to figure this format out. Ghostly Wings is... I guess a fine way to... Uh, to get Madness online. But I actually like... I think Jace's Scrutiny is kind of a good card. 
I like that it uh, is a combat trick that will eventually draw you a card. I, th I think that's something easily overlookable about it. Okay, I'll take the Silent Observer. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, well, we've got one, two, three. It's really not that many, but I'm not sure there's anything else in here I want. Wield Emissary. Necropod's good. Guess we'll take the Trail of Evidence. If the red-blue deck works out, it's a good card to have. Hmm. Guess we're more likely to die from a Scavenger in a good Delirium deck. Confront the Unknown this late? It's pretty unusual. Alright, we'll take the Seagraft Scab, I think, just in case we need it. All right, not the worst pack one, but I am kind of looking for a direction still. I got good cards, but I don't have a lot of synergy at the moment, so I kind of need to get my, my deck a little bit more in place here. So I still can potentially do the red-blue spell deck. In order to do that, I need a lot more instants and sorceries, and like I said, I need a rise from the tide, and then I probably just want some pyre hounds stuff like that and then i can still run like flame blade angel and silent observer a lot of four drops already which is not what you want huh skin invasion which I'm not really a huge fan of tough do i want to make a Green, do I want to dip out of red now? I guess I only have three red cards. I saw some late good green cards. It's kind of a cool, cool card. Byway Courier I could take. Just don't like any of these red cards. And Well, I mean, Piece of the Puzzle is a legitimately good card for the, the red-blue deck. It's going to be, it's definitely risky to go for this deck, though. You, like, you could wheel pieces of the puzzle. If we play green-blue, we can still make, like, a delirium thing possibly happen, too, which I might be okay with. Like, Byway Courier is just very good. I'm going to take the Courier. Oh, and then we get Mad Prophet. It's also Sanguinary Mage. I just want to sort by color. So we do want to commit. Mad Prophet's, I think, just too good to pass. It's also Stitched Mangler in here. Even though it is another 4-drop, it's just such a good card. Sanguinary Mage, Geist Blast. Like, though this, unfortunately, this pack has everything we want, but I'm going to take the Mad Prophet. Ooh, Lightning Axe is really good. All right, let's just screw it. Let's, let's just make sure we've committed. I don't want to waste any more time. We're far enough along. Let's just commit to this deck. Even if we don't end up in the red-blue spell deck, we can play some sort of red, red-blue value and still be just fine. Lightning Axe is definitely the pick here. So we do need more finishers. I like Storm Rider Spirit here. There's Compelling Deterrence. We have one zombie. Could find another one later. And here's the Pyre Hound. So if we take the Pyre Hound, we've got one, two, three, four, four at the moment. We could find some more. Like red blue is really where Pyre Hound's at home. Another four drop, but I like Storm Rider Spirit a lot too. But let's take the Pyre Hound. I, I do think this is the right uh, deck for it. So just the wind's going to work better with the Mad Prophet. Inner Struggle is another four drop. We're just so four drop heavy right now. I might just want to adjust the wind. We've got Lightning Axe technically for it too. Okay, I think we just need to lower the curve a little bit here. Okay, Broken Concentration definitely works well with Mad Prophet. And uh, can I play Fevered Visions? 
don't know how I feel about uh, Fevered Visions. It's probably a playable card, right? I might just want the Counterspell with Madness. There's also a Press for Answers, which is good. We don't look very tempo right now, but... I don't know how good Broken Concentration is. I think it's okay. Couple Madness Enablers already, but I think I'm going to take the Press for Answers. Buys a little bit, buys time just a little bit better, I think. So now it's Rush of Adrenaline and Deny Existence. Um, I mean, I guess I can take Rush of Adrenaline. I kind of need more creatures. I am playing the Spells deck, I guess. I, I can take Deny Existence. It's probably a little more exciting than Rush of Adrenaline in this deck right now. All right, I'll take the Stormrider Spirit now. I don't think we have any Delirium anyway. And Stormrider Spirit's actually just fine. True Faith Sensor, Seagraph Scab number two. I really don't like the Scab, the Seagraph Scab all that much, but True Faith Sensor in a low creature deck with very low human count specifically is, doesn't seem that good. I mean, Cibberland Snapper, I could probably activate. I probably don't want to run that, though. Just in case, I guess I'll take the Scab in case I need more cheap creatures. All right, Mangler's very good. I'm going to take it over a second scrutiny. Well, I guess we got Scab for days. Cobalts can be annoying. Okay, well, so if we get the Rise from the Tide, we can try and make the spell deck work. Otherwise, we're just going for like a red-blue, non-synergistic sort of deck, which isn't ideal. But I guess it's more of like a Pyrehound sort of strategy, which is okay. How many cards do I have for Trail of Evidence? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not a ton. This deck could use some more instants and sorceries. There's Compelling Deterrence. Sanguinary Mage is probably pretty good in this deck, too. I am likely... Well, I mean, I do have four zombies, I guess. Hmm. I might just want the Sanguinary Mage. I need more creatures, and Mage is kind of at home in this style of deck. Tamiyo's Journal is a fun card to play. Reckless Scholar is so strong. This pack has everything. And pour over the pages. Um, we might just want the Reckless Scholar. Yeah, I mean, this card is so good. Tamiyo's Journal is really good, too. But I think Scholar is potentially better, especially if we can find anything to work with it. So now we have Press for Answers. Harvest Hand. Warped Landscape. Huh. Harvest Hand, I mean, we have a few humans, but not a lot. Just a couple, I guess. Might just want the Warp Landscape. I, I don't really think I want to play any of these. Could take a second press for answers. It just investigates and tempos. Maybe it's what we want. This card's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, probably just want the Blood Mad Vamp. We can madness it at this point, and there's nothing else in here we really care about. This card's good. 
but we'll take the blood mad vamp, I guess. All right, aberrant research is very good. There's a big finisher. Okay, illuminator is really good too. We're gonna take it over explorer and observer. Manic scribe. Well. I mean, technically we can get delirium. Question is, am I gonna go for that? Probably not. I could go senseless rage with mad prophet and reckless scholar. It can be pretty strong, madnessing it out. And like lightning axe. All right, we'll, we'll try it. We'll go for a synergy card here. All right, Imbri Wolf's fine. Might just want the mana fixing. I guess we're probably not going to play the Imbri Wolf. Even though I think it's a fine card. I'd rather just have fixed land. Um, am I going to play Graph Stone? Probably not. This card's just really strong, so... Hate that. Um, just not going to play the Vessel. I guess Strength of Arms is probably the best. So the question is, am I going to try out Trail of Evidence? I am not sure about that. It's cool. I probably have enough instants and sorceries, but I'm going to play Sleep Paralysis. I could have taken Root out, I guess. Hated that to protect our Sleep Paralysis. I really don't want to play Seagraph Scab so much. We only have to make three cuts, which isn't bad. I think we ended up with enough finishers. Could have used some more, but I think Pyrohound actually looks good in here. Ooh, got the Warp Landscape. Okay. Take it. Play it. Snapper. That's a big finisher. Maybe play it. We do have enough non-creature spells, technically. I can't imagine needing two. Okay, well, so this deck's not bad. Could have been better, but it's not, it's not bad. So let's, I think we're going to be off the trail of evidence. Let's sideboard into deny existence as, as, as needed, I should say. Let's cut it. I think we want to cut at least a couple Seagraph Scabs. That only leaves us with 13 creatures, though, which is not a lot. But it's not like Seagraph Scab's going to do that much for me. The problem is cards like Senseless Rage and Uncaged Fury look a lot worse when you have low creature count. But what's our uh, instant and sorcery count? So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Only ended up with 7, huh? Thought we might have more than that. So I guess the thing is, we got powerful cards in here, but this deck's not as powerful as I thought it was going to be. I mean, Illuminator looks great in here, so looks like we can draw plenty of cards. The Madness effects, we have a Scholar, we have a Mad Prophet, we have a Lightning Axe, so we should be able to reliably get those. We certainly have enough, I think, to attack with Snapper, at least a reasonable amount of times, but... Still not super stoked about it. I, I think we're running it like this, so I don't think this deck is quite synergistic enough to be great. But it's playable. It can win. I'd probably give it like a 70%. So we have one double red. Other than that, it's just mono. I'm fine with this, I guess. Yeah, so 70%. I think our curve is only okay. It's decent. Our mana base is actually really good. Our removal is adequate. Um, our bomb finishers could have been a little bit better. Everything's just like okay about this deck. I think that's why it's 
the synergy is low. That's like the weakest aspect of this deck. I wish there was more synergies. We have madness effects with draw discard stuff. So like Reckless Scholar, Mad Prophet, like I said, with our madness cards are going to be pure value. And the Lightning Axe too. Um, we have a lot of Investigate removal, so we have ways to buy time. Where Creature Light is another problem. But like Aberrant Research and Flame Blade Angel can finish some games. I wish we had some more Flyers. I think that's a problem, too. We just don't have enough flyers, though. Yeah, all right. 70% red-blue. This is how we're running it. We'll see you around one.